Hey, how's it going, everyone? So today I'm coming back at you guys again with another PPP loan fraud story. So this time it's a pastor who obtained fraudulent PPP loans and he bought a Tesla with it. Now, if you're not familiar, this the PPP loans were meant for businesses, especially small businesses who were forced to shut down during the pandemic. It was supposed to give them this loan to help pay their employees and to keep them on payroll instead of just letting them go. And many companies did not receive this loan in time, so they did end up going out of business, which was very sad. And then you have people like this pastor who applied for this loan. And instead of using it for business purposes, he started to, he bought a Tesla and other personal expenses that we're going to talk about. So this pastor who is in Washington, D.C., was charged with wire fraud after a, obtaining a pandemic loan for an apparent defunct business and using the money to buy a Tesla, amongst other things that have now been confiscated. So the man is Rudolph Brooks. He's 45 years old, and he obtained a $1.5 million loan from the Paycheck Protection Program. And he used that loan for his own purposes. A pastor did. The FBI was able to seize $2.2 million and a 2018 Tesla Model 3. Man, that's crazy. This man bought a Tesla with that money. My man should have been buying that Tesla stock. He would have made $10 million by now. Anyways, jokes aside... So Brooks, who was a pastor at the Kingdom Tabernacle of Restoration, he allegedly applied for loans of $1.5 million, another loan that was worth $1.8 million, and a $200,000 on behalf of the company's Cars Direct, Kingdom Tabernacle, and Medaro Celtic Bank. Now, it's going to get a lot funnier, so stick with me. So he faked all of his tax forms and payroll forms, and he never actually filed any of this with the IRS. So that was a huge red flag. So when he received this money, he deposited this money to 11 personal bank accounts to spend it on restaurant, groceries, musical instruments, and other stuff like Tesla. It's pretty funny. This man really tried to cover his tracks. But always remember, when you're, when you're doing this type of stuff, there's always a paper trail. And no matter how long you've gotten away with it, eventually... The IRS will get you, especially when it comes to government aid. They don't play around with that stuff. So it's also very interesting how these people were able to get away with applying with these loans when there's people right now who are still waiting on their PPP loans. There's a lot of small business people who are being stuck on lender review or secondary review. They're applying through Wampley and they're still stuck checking every day and they still have not received any word and they can't even contact anybody at the lender's office or whatever and you have people who are able to just get away with it with faking all these tax forms so it's just very interesting how that works so he bought his tesla for sixty thousand dollars in july 2020 and he also put a ten thousand dollar down payment on a house so my man was spending that on some you know pretty good stuff but man, out of all people you wouldn't expect a pastor to be doing this stuff and the funniest thing about this as is that the company he applied for his company was cars direct which was actually not even in business in 2012 that was the last time it was been in business and then mysteriously it resurrected in may 2020 so this man used a business that wasn't even in business so that really raised a lot of red flags and this man, Brooks, could now face up to 20 years in prison, plus three years of supervised release. Um, so, yeah, that's very, very interesting. So, yeah, if you do, guys, enjoy watching these videos because I do like reading about this. It's kind of entertaining for me because you get to see what kind of people are committing PPP fraud. So, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching.